Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to add drop constraint. We'll try to add drop constraint using alter table command. In our previous class, we have uh, we have added a column, dropped a column, and modified the column. The other use of alter table command is to add or drop a, a constraint of a given table uh, of an existing table. So uh, let's try to go to our previous example. In our previous example, we have taken uh, we have taken this. This is our uh, table, users table, and we haven't mentioned any primary key for this. So this is name and this is ID, and we will consider this ID as the primary key. Now we will try to add this constraint. Previously, no constraints were given. You have checked in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. There we have created the users. and in the creation we haven't used it the primary key now uh, we have uh, haven't declared the id as the primary key now we would like to change the constraint we would, would like to add that constraint to the table so how that constraint can be added is uh, this is how we can add add constraint alter table users what is the table that we would like to alter it is a uh, uh, users table users table and what what is the alteration that we would like to do it is adding a constraint so the keyword is add constraint okay and we have to give the name of the constraint what is the name of the constraint that we have given anything can is allowed you can give it as a b c whatever you would like to but it is a uh, good practice to give the uh, constraint names in such a way so that we can remember them further if you would like to modify them then we can use this uh, uh, we can use these constraint names and we can modify them so the constraint name is pk underscore users primary key underscore users in short we 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 have taken it as pk underscore users and the constraint that we would like to add is primary key and uh, what is the primary key id we would like to add id as our primary key okay and the constraint name is pk underscore users primary key for users and what is the constraint that we are trying to add it is primary key okay so let's try to and uh, if you if you would like to drop the constraint so the same thing the difference is drop constraint is the keyword that is used and what is the constraint that we would like to drop it is pk underscore users so this uh, primary key constraint you would like to drop uh, so uh, now by dropping this the id is not going to be the primary key so let's try to execute that on our system and check whether uh, the things are working fine or not see here okay here we are adding a constraint add constraint pk underscore users primary key id okay table altered next what we will do is we'll try to insert this this data so this data is already existing so the primary key constraint should work now see here unique constraint system dot pk underscore user violated so the primary key constraint has been violated okay now we will try to drop this constraint see here drop constraint pk underscore user table has been altered now we will try to insert the content the same content one row has been created let's see what is there in the table one row has been created okay see here the uh, primary key constraint is not violated because id is no more primary key because we have dropped the constraint pk underscore users okay so this is how uh, this is how we can add a constraint similarly the foreign key constraint can also be added add constraint fk users if there are two tables if you want to establish a foreign key constraint for two tables which we have already done in the creation of the tables one of the alter command is used so there we said that we are going to discuss in detail about this alter table command in our later classes so this is the point where we would like to discuss so what we will do is we will name it as fk for better understanding you can name it as you like it so fk underscore users foreign key uh, uh, foreign key references where it references it references somewhere uh, some other column in the some other table okay so this is how we can create 
we can add a constraint and drop a constraint by using the alter table command hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching